Those experiences motivated him and his wife Jessica to become foster parents. They're now blessed with four beautiful children ranging from six months to 10 years old. Boone County, please welcome Attorney General Andrew Bailey to the stage. How are we doing tonight, Boone County? Man, it's good to be home. I've been coming to Republican events in Boone County since I was a high schooler here back in the mid 90s. And I'm excited to be home here and see that our numbers have grown. And I want to give a shout out to a couple of people. Rosa, you may not remember me, but you opened your home to me when I worked on Ed's campaign for State House way back in the day. You were always so kind. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for Republicans in Boone County across the state and for the conservative movement and for being kind to a young uh, campaign staffer way back in the day. Thank you for everything you do. Give a shout out to Bryce Field. Is Bryce still here? Bryce, stand up, man. This guy. So uh, you haven't changed since you left the office. I see you're still in your suit. I, I had to do a uniform change, but uh, I tell you, Bryce is one of the smartest attorneys, <coughs> rock rib conservative, and I'm excited to watch the great things you do. I see you at the office every day doing great things for the freedom, safety, and prosperity of the people of the state of Missouri. Excited to watch your career, man. And thank you for everything you do today and in the future. And I know we already acknowledged his presence. Where's my friend Brandon Rathard? Is he still here? He's here. Brandon. So Brandon was kind enough to join my staff several months ago. And I know that there are fans of 93.9 The Eagle that miss his voice. But I tell you, uh, he is a dedicated public servant that is helping us every day at the Missouri Attorney General's office and does so much to get our message out statewide to communicate with, with the people of the state of Missouri. Brandon, I can't thank you enough for your friendship and for being a colleague and, and being there for us at the Attorney General's office. Thank you, Brandon. And we had, we had to work it into the contract that we get a you know, flip-flop day at the office every once in a while, so uh, we, had to, we had to build that in. Listen, folks, it is good to be home. I grew up here. I'm invested in the state of Missouri. When I got out of the Army, I came home to the state of Missouri I'm a veteran of the battlefield in the courtroom, volunteered for a combat arms branch of service in the Army, had the privilege of leading soldiers in combat during two deployments to Iraq. Those taught me leadership and management skills and a fighting spirit because we're under attack. The enemies of freedom, safety, and prosperity want to take those principles, those freedoms away from us. I want to hand those off to my children, to your children, to your grandchildren in better condition than they are today. And it's going to take warriors to fight back to preserve those principles and those legacies. And I'm proud to be leading that fight on behalf of the people of this state from the Attorney General's office. So I'm also a constitutional rule of law social conservative. I believe in the text history and tradition of our founding document that the whole purpose of the Constitution is to protect us from the government. And those rights come from God, not man. And it's my job at the Attorney General's office to ensure that those rights are scrupulously honored and we will take to court anyone who attacks our constitutional freedoms. We're defending the Second Amendment Preservation Act from lawsuit by Biden's Department of Justice. He doesn't like that we have state sovereignty. He doesn't like that you can own guns and ammo, but we're not going to let him take those away from us. We're defending the First Amendment right to free speech, and I'll be at the Supreme Court next month to argue that case to stop government censorship on big tech social media platforms. We've got to build a wall, a separation between tech and state to protect our right to free speech, especially as we move into this election cycle. But there is no end to the amount of resources and energy I will put into protecting your and my constitutional freedoms from this lawless federal government. <laughs> Results matter. Since day one in office, we've been fighting and winning for the people of the state of Missouri. You remember that Soros-backed prosecutor in the city of St. Louis? 500 businesses had left downtown St. Louis. 96% non-prosecution rate. Victims who never got that day in court after less than 45 days in office. I filed suit to get rid of her. We ended up pushing that suit forward, getting her out of there, and we're telling George Soros, don't send another one, we'll do the same damn thing again. A whistleblower came forward in February of last year and reported to my office 
that nothing short of child abuse was going on in these gender mutilation cl clinics across the state of Missouri. As a father of four, I want Missouri to be the safest state in the nation for children. We launched an investigation, the first of its kind in the nation, exposed this corrupt machinery for what it is. It's not healthcare, it's not medicine, it's woke experimentation on children. We're not gonna let it happen and we've shut it down here in the state of Missouri. The children of Missouri are safe now. How dare anybody tell these kids that God put them in the wrong body. We know he doesn't make mistakes. It is my job to represent this state in court, and it's a privilege to get to do it. I wake up every morning and ask myself, how are we gonna sue Joe Biden today? <laughs> <laughs> he makes it easy, it's a target-rich environment. We've got 30 lawsuits pending against the Biden administration right now. I wanna to talk to you about some of the important ones that we're gonna to continue to deliver wins for the people of the state of Missouri on. The border wall. In 2020, Congress commanded the president, build new border barrier systems, period. The president has vexed, harassed, and delayed and refused to do that. He hung an open sign at the southern border. And now fentanyl and human trafficking are flooding into this state, making the rest of us less safe. 1,100 incidents in one year of human trafficking moving through the, our sacred state of Missouri. More than 1,500 deaths from fentanyl exposure. 43 innocent children who died from accidental fentanyl poisoning. These deaths and destruction are directly attributable to President Biden's refusal to do his job at the southern border. We've got three lawsuits pending. One of them is going to force him to do his job and finish building the border wall and secure our national sovereignty. We're not going to let woke ideologues infiltrate our public educational systems. We're going to protect our kids from the sexualization of children from radical transgender bathroom policies that put kids at risk. We don't co-parent with the government in Missouri. Those are your kids, not the government's. And we're gonna to fight to protect parental rights. I am personally invested in this issue as a father of four children, three of which are of school age. Folks, we've done so much in one year and we haven't hit our ceiling yet. My commitment to you is we're never gonna stop fighting. We've seen a 133% increase in criminal prosecution since I took office. We've reduced our turnover rates in the Attorney General's office by 8%, lowered our staffing levels to only an 8% vacancy rate. That's recruitment and retention of the next generation of conservative attorneys like Bryce Beal. And I'm excited to tell you, by holding on to the right people, and have, you can put lead on the target on so many of these issues. It is a privilege to be home in Boone County amongst so many friends that I see out here tonight. When I went into the Army, I took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. I was willing to put my life on the, limit, on the line to do it. I took that fight to the enemies of freedom in the war on terror and the battlefields of Iraq and am proud to be leading that effort now on, the people, on behalf of the people of this state in courtrooms across this nation. Thank you, Boone County. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for what you do for Republicans and conservative values in the state of Missouri. God bless you.